Hey, I'll just some kayak catfish. I'm out here on the Tennessee River this morning and I'm getting set up to do some catfishing. Now, today's one of those days where I'm going to have to start out the morning trolling. TVA is running about 10,000 CFS at Fort Loudon Dam, which is a little bit of current, but where I'm at on the river here, it's just not enough to work with. I just can't drift with it. It's not, I can't even really tell I'm moving at all. So uh, I'm going to have to start out at least trolling for a little while. And hopefully as the morning goes on, they'll kick up the flow and I'll be able to drift with at some point out here. Now today I'm fishing an area that you saw a few videos ago. I spent a couple days out here about two weeks ago uh, fishing this area. This is a river bend and on those videos I started at the top of the bend and I focused on the outside of it and I worked my way all the way around. I spent one day at the top and I worked my way to about midway around the bend. The next day I came back and I hit from where I left off the day before and I worked my way all the way back down that main channel edge all the way to the car. Now today I'm out here again and I'm going to spend a little bit of time this morning on the outside of the bend just in this one little stretch here where I've caught a lot of big fish in the past. But the bulk of my time today I'm going to spend on the inside of the bend and I'm going to hit that area that I didn't get to hit while I was out here a couple weeks ago. So that's where I'm going to spend the bulk of my time now today. I've got a lot of fresh bait. I went out yesterday morning, caught a lot of white bass, caught a lot of skipjack, so I got plenty of bait today. So because of that, I'm not going to be conservative with it. I've got a couple of rods over here on the right side of my kayak. You can probably see I've got my normal just kind of palm sized chunks of bait. But I'm also going to have a couple rods on this left side of the kayak here with just some, you know, some much bigger honking size bait. So uh, we'll see how it goes out here today. Uh, you know, I would prefer to have a little bit more current than what I do. That's, you know, current flow has a lot to do with the success of your day of fishing out here on the Tennessee River, at least in my experience anyway. So hopefully as the day goes on, they're going to kick up the flow a little bit. But I'm going to get out here and get set up and we'll get started. We'll start out trolling, see if we can find some fish. Fish on guys, fish on. Oh goodness. Hit one of the smaller baits. Put a bend in the rod though buddy, first thing. <laughs> Just working that deepest break line here, which for this section of the river ain't very deep. I'm in 26 feet of water right now. Oh, oh guys, we got one on here. Look at that, buddy. That's on that big skipjack head. That's on that big head. Oh, goodness. Oh. I was fooling with the other one. Let, oh, damn, he let it go. Dang. Dang, man. We got rods going down all over the place. Man. That's the thing when you're using big baits like that, they don't always hook up. Yeah, we got one on this rod, too. Man, that's frustrating about that other one. He felt like a little better fish. I don't know how big. That one's just a smaller one there, so. Let's set him back. We'll land this one. Man, that's frustrating. <laughs> it happens, though. It happens. Bit of creeping up on that ledge here. Winds, there's a lot of slight breeze pushing me this way. Push myself over, and then we'll land these fish. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, too, before I land him. I'm going to drop this big head back down there. Get it back down there where it belongs. All right. Well, there's the first of what would have been three, but <laughs> we only got two of them, but that's okay. It's early in the morning. Got plenty of time left. Well, let's let him go and land his friend. I just went through a school of them here, y'all. That's how it goes. All right, there's that one. Just another little feller. Well, that's had a chunk taken out of his tail down there, ain't he? <laughs> they live a hard life. All right, let's see if we can find that big one again. A little swimming my line right here. Let's see if he takes it. There he goes. There he goes. Yeah, he's hooked up. Still right here in this same little area. felt another rod get hit somewhere. I don't know which one. 
you can feel them thump it in the kayak. Right here. I knew I felt him. I knew I felt him. Look at that rod, y'all. He's swimming with it. He's moving the kayak. That's a good fish, guys. That's a good fish. Golly, man. I felt him thump it, man. I felt him. I didn't know which rod had gotten hit, but I felt the thump. We still got that other one on over there. A lot of y'all have asked about this rod because it's different, it's black. And you all pay really close attention to my videos. But this is that custom rod I won last year in the Yak Tribe Tournament. Uh, the owner got with me and said, hey, I've never built a catfish rod before, but I know you love catfishing. Let me try to build you one. And so he did, and it's an awesome rod. I love it. It's my favorite rod. Everything I want in a catfish rod, he put in this. There's some good bubbles coming up, guys. This is a good fish. But there's what he eat. It's landing. Look at that. <laughs> Pretty nice flathead, man. Pretty nice flathead. I love catching these. Absolutely love it. <laughs> All right. Well, I still got this other blue cat on this other rod, so let's let him go. See ya, buddy. Let's do it again when you're bigger. All right, now let's land this blue. Oh, oh that one popped off right here. <laughs> well, that's fine. Here's a little one anyway. <laughs> Fish on. All right, there's us another one. Again, not the whopper we're after, but fun, man. It's just fun when it's like this, when you just get in constant action. It's a good time. Let's let him go. Fish on, guys, fish on. Let's see if he hooks up. I think he is. It's on a white bass head on this one, so. A little bit bigger bait again. We'll get that rod too. Goodness, we got rods going down everywhere. Yeah, so just a little feller here. He had a big old bait. Let's see if this one's on. We'll put that back. It's on there. We just done it again. We went through another little school of. All right. Let me put him back and let him just tucker himself out a little bit while we land this one. Get this in here first and see what he's, see what he looks like. Right. Well, y'all, here's this one. Let's let him go right fast and land his cousin over here. Oh, no, goodness gracious. Don't be like that. Listen, we're going to be friends. Whether you want to or not. We are going to be friends, mister. Oh, get on up in here. Well, there we go. Not bad. That's a little better blue cat right there. <laughs> Listen, ain't talking to us. <laughs> I think he's cussing me and you both out in catfish talk. <laughs> not bad, though. You know, it's funny. I got two rods with skipjack and two with white bass. And both of those fish hit the rods with white bass. That's just... Maybe it's coincidence, I don't know. Just odd how that is. It's like you go through a little school of them and they all looking for one thing. Well, let's let him go. Next time. In there? Yeah, he took it. He took it. He pecked at it a minute. And there he goes. But this one's pulling. I didn't think he was that big. I did not think he was that big when he first hit it. He kind of just tapped at it like a little one. But he's moving me a little bit here. <laughs> Get surprised every once in a while. Oh, that's a striper. That's why. <laughs> oh, that little devil. 
he fooled me. I mean, when he was hitting that rod at the beginning, he was just kind of pick, 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 like a small blue cat would. It was a daggone striper. <laughs> Don't do it, don't do it. Get on up in here. You show yourself off to the world. Look at that. <laughs> well, guys, we've done it. In the first, I don't know, hour, hour and a half out here, we've done the Tennessee trifecta. We've got blues, flatheads, and striped bass. That's a good day. Any day of the year, anytime you can get the old Tennessee trifecta, that's a good day. <laughs> All right. Well, let's let him go. There he goes. See ya. Fish right there, guys. Man, look at him go. Look at him go, buddy. Look at that. Well, you can't see it from the camera angle, but he put a bend in that rod. <laughs> yeah, buddy. He's just a swimmer. This is a big blue cat. He, I mean, he took off with that rod, man. Took off with it. Oh, <laughs> oh, I knew he had one last run in him there. I've been criticized in the past, y'all, about using heavy line in the kayak. They say it's overkill. Well, this is why, because obviously I don't have a net out here today. I don't use a net in the kayak it's just too big it takes up too much space and a limited area of a kayak so i have to land these fish by hand and when i do i gotta grab my line here at some point and if a big fish takes off well you've got a firm grip on your line that's when you're at the most risk of your knot snapping or your line breaking so i use heavy line to help help prevent that from happening let's move that out of the way why don't we let's move that out of the way and bring him on in All right. <laughs> I mean, he's a good fish, but for no bigger than he is, he was quite the ordeal to get in here. <laughs> I am soaking wet. <laughs> oh, goodness. There we go. Take a look at that. Pretty good fish, ain't it? <laughs> good fish. All right, let's let him go. Go get big. <laughs> well, y'all, you know, I came out here this morning with the goal of just fishing this one small section of the outside of this bend and then moving over to the inside of the bend. But I have done so well right here on this one little area that I'm going to hit it again. I'm about to go up here and make another pass. Now, I've been able to drift this morning since I've been out here. I thought I was going to have to troll for the lack of current, but... There's just a very light breeze and it's been blowing directly downstream and it's allowed me to move like 0 0.1, 0 0.2 miles an hour. I mean, it's taken a while to fish this area because I'm moving so slow, but uh, it's allowed me to do it. So I'm going to go up here, back upstream, and we'll just make another pass through here. And we might get to the inside of this bend today and we might not. If I keep catching fish like I have been, we're going to stay right here. 8.30 in the morning, the idiots are already out. I don't know who the hell born a boat like that. I mean, it's a... Here comes two more of them, too. Damn it. That takes a chuck wagon sandwich to drive a boat like that. I don't know what the hell they are. I mean, it's so frustrating. I'm marking fish right here on the graph. And my lines are just... Because these people and these huge ass boats boats way too big for this river they they running up and down at full speed they probably got their little sailing hats on i bet they're going down here to some marina to eat brunch or something these people makes me sick got some action going on this rod right here guys they're just my rod tip slightly bent over i never felt a thump no big moves from it Probably maybe a flathead. I'm just gonna just I'm just gonna let him be. I use circle hooks, so you don't want to go. You know, Bill Dance just rear back on it. Let's see if he makes a move or not. 
let's take him. Let's take him. He's on there. He's hooked up. I said I never felt him. I just saw my rod tip just, just bent over. Oh, no, we felt that one. <laughs> Goodness, man. I got two on that right now, guys. I'm in. I don't know what's. I don't know which to take on first. Oh, I'm just gonna set that back. Let's focus on this one right now. <laughs> I got options. Yep, that's a flathead right there. I knew it was. I knew it was. All right. Well, let's set him back and work on this other one. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> That's another decent blue right there, y'all. That's another decent one. I'm gonna put him back, and we're gonna land this flathead. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Man, that is a good looking fish. Look at the coloration on him. Man, these are just, they're just gorgeous fish. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> all right well i'll tell you what we're gonna do we're gonna let him go like i let them all go and we're gonna land this blue cat back here all right there we go again that's a, another pretty pretty good looking blue cat right there <laughs> pretty good fish man <laughs> let's let him go and get our baits back down there couldn't figure out where he wanted to go. <laughs> I talked about this in a previous video, y'all. So this is the, uh, that flathead, I think, was the second or third fish I've caught on this head. And I would initially run the hook up through the, uh, up through the lip and out the nose there, but the area is just, it's just too torn up. It's not going to hold the hook. So right there is what I've done now. I've just run it through the back area, that meaty portion. And we'll drop it down there and just use it again because it's still got a lot of good meat left on it. It's still bleeding. That's all I care about in a bait. Oh, here we go. Fish on again. Oh, goodness, he's pulling a little bit, ain't he? <laughs> Corey Coates with the channel Corcoa keeps texting me while I'm fighting these fish. He has impeccable timing. <laughs> Some people will do anything for attention. <laughs> all right there's just another one the bites just keep coming so i'm gonna keep catching them like i said earlier i got a whole cooler full of bait so i ain't gonna get cleaned out they can just keep on eating and we'll keep on catching them <laughs> he got it he got it he got more than he bargained for on that piece of bait didn't he <laughs> That one had a hook in it. <laughs> All right, there he is, y'all. Just a little feller. But he had a big appetite and just wanted to come see us. So you say hi to the camera now. <laughs> Let's let him go. I think he may be on there. If he is, he ain't big as nothing. But he's trying hard. <laughs> you gotta admire his effort. He was doing his best. And I'll tell you what, I want you to look at the girth on that fish for no bigger than he is. He has been gorging himself down there. <laughs> he is fat. Well, let's let him go. <laughs> goodness. goodness gracious, he took off with it. I was about to lower my rods back down. I dropped off here in a little deeper water. This one took off with it. All right, mister. Well, look at that, guys. That is another fat blue cat right there. The quality and numbers have both been quite a bit better today. <laughs> this ain't talking. But I tell you what, guys, I've had a, a fun morning out here thus far. It has been a good time. I love catching on this size right here. I'll take them like this anytime I can. Oh, 
camera, I guess. Well, my camera just overheated and shut down. I heard it beep at me while I was talking about that last fish. And I dropped my bait back down, and then this rod took off. So we got us another one on. You may or may not see it. This camera may overheat again. It's about 11 a.m. out here right now, and it's just, uh, it's brutal, man. That sun is, it's cloudy today, thankfully. But when that sun's out from behind the cloud, man, it is miserable. All right. If the camera ain't shut off, you're seeing him right now, but uh, who knows? Another pretty good fish, though, another solid one. <laughs> Let's let him go. There's a fish on right there, guys. I got another one on here. I had to turn the camera back on. This one's going down, too. I can't tell. I can't tell which is bigger. <laughs> it's a good problem to have, right? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick this one up. Goodness. That and there's a small one. Let's, let's fill this one out here and see. Well, that's another quality cat right there, guys. That's another good one. <laughs> business just keeps booming down through here yeah I would come out here this morning expecting to hit the inside of that bend I was just gonna fish a small section of the outside and I just got on so many fish that I'd make another pass and get on some more and the third pass I made through that small section there I didn't get any bites at all so I just made a decision I was just gonna keep fish on the outside of the bend here instead of moving over to the inside and I'm glad I did so far because I mean I just keep catching them <laughs> let's let him go now let's land this other in here. And here's this one, a little bit smaller than the last one, but it was a fun fight anyway. Let's let him go and get some baits back down in the water. Oh, we hooked up again, y'all. We hooked up again. <laughs> this one feels like it's a little better one. I'm getting my action back there too. I've caught a few more fish that I haven't filmed just because it's such a pain to keep dealing with the camera when it's overheating. All right, guys, there's just another one. It just, uh, the beat goes on, man. The beat goes on. That's all I can say about it. Let's let him go. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to wrap up the video portion of this day. I'm tired of fooling with that camera. It just keeps shutting off on me. I hope it's still rolling now. But uh, I've had an awesome morning out here, man. Just an awesome morning. Got the Tennessee trifecta first thing with a blue flathead striper and you catch those three fish in the same day in the same place then you're where you need to be you're doing something right and it's just been an awesome day you know i came out here i was going to fish the inside of this bend that was my where i was going to spend the bulk of my day never made it over there i just haven't done it i've stayed on the outside of this bend the main section there where i was catching all them fish at first thing this morning i ended up making three passes through there the first two passes I caught fish, the second, the third pass I didn't get any bites at all. So I just kept making my way on down around this bend. And to fish this area of the river, uh, this particular bend, it's a, it's a pretty long bend. It's not a real sharp turn. It kind of makes like a, almost like a U shape around. So it takes several hours to fish it thoroughly. And so I just, uh, it's just too dang hot out here. I ain't gonna fish much longer. The humidity's just brutal out here today. I, I wasn't catching all these fish, I wouldn't have stayed this long. So I'm not going to be able to make it on the inside of this bend today. We'll just have to save that for another day. But I've had an awesome time out here today. Like I said, I've caught a ton of fish, a couple flatheads, striped bass. I lost a really good fish first thing this morning. That was my fault for using a big bait without a double hook rig. I'm just, I'm lazy. I don't like tying them. And uh, yeah, that's all it is to it. I'm just lazy. Don't judge me. <laughs> One of these days I will eventually lose enough fish that I'll quit doing that. But that day wasn't today, and it ain't probably ain't going to be tomorrow either, so <laughs> it just is what it is. But I'm going to uh, drift down here just a little bit further to the edge of these woods here, I believe, and uh, I'm going to have to get out of here. Like I said, this heat's just too bad, but I've had an awesome time out here today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a huge favor and hit that thumbs up button for me. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.